What's up hotties? It's your girl Leslie, also known as the Hot Mommy, and today we're talking all about how to stay hot for the summer. If that's something you're looking forward to, stay tuned. This video is just for you. What's up hotties? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Leslie, also known as the Hot Mommy. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that bell and subscribe so that you never miss one of my weekly uploads. On this channel, I love to talk about style, give you a glimpse into my hot life, share some of the keys that I have to making sure that my life stays amazing, and everything in between. Travels, um, just a little bit of encouragement, you know, inspiration, all of that, you'll find it on this channel. Today we're going to be talking about summer style and if you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you heard me say this, I hate summer. <laughs> I know, I know, it feels like blasphemy, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's just not my favorite season. Okay, the reason being, one, I'm hot. I don't, I don't like to be hot, right? I just feel like when you're hot, it's really hard to cool down, but when you're cold, it's easier to warm up. You know what I mean? In addition to that, I just feel like summer fashion is never really hitting. Summer is for people that like love to be naked. They want all their skin to show. You know, that's how they feel cute, attractive, sexy, all of the things. And more power to you. Honestly, y'all be cute out here. It's just not for me. I honestly feel better as a person, as a woman. I feel sexier, cuter, more beautiful when I'm dressed. Like getting dressed, it just does something for my spirit. Yeah. However, because we cannot walk around naked or busted, right, then I have to still make sure that all of my looks are hitting for the summertime. So I'm gonna show you a little bit how I make sure that my closet is able to transition from season to season, even in my least favorite one. So I have a few looks behind me, a few pieces, and hopefully you can leave with a few tips from this video on how to make it through the season until we get to the better one, which is fall. Autumn is where it's at. Okay, so we'll begin with the first look that I'm wearing today. First of all, let's just talk about how we all know that Y2K fashion, you know, late 90s, early 2000s is back because here we are with a one shoulder shirt. When I was younger, I didn't always feel the one shoulder. I was kind of like, where, where's the other half of my tank top? Why did you give me half of a tank top? But now I feel like it's alluring, right? It's just enough to make you say, oh, come on, clavicle. Come on, shoulder blade. <laughs> it's, it's really cute. It's like not as far as a tube top, which I still can't wear. And I'm going to blame my mama on that. Like... She made me feel like I was just a terrible little heathen wearing a tube top, okay? Blame blame my upbringing. So, to this day, I still feel like I can't put on a tube top without being like, where's my sweater? But this, like, one shoulder asymmetrical top gives me still that same feeling without, like, being nervous, right? So, I'm comfortable in my skin. I feel good. This is just enough, like, naked for me. And then we have these Lueve shorts, which I showed you guys in my haul last week from when we went to Palm Desert. I love the way that they fit. They're structured, right? So they can be dressed up or dressed down. I feel like they're a pair of shorts that can really like go to a nice dinner, you know, al fresco, or just can be, you know, comfortable and casual like I styled it here. Now, for the shoe, I'm wearing my little, you know, Alexander Wang Bejeweled Flats. I sometimes feel like it's a little challenging for me to find the type of sandals that I love. I really love a good dad sandal, but sometimes, you know, you need something more dainty for an outfit. And when things are really structured, like this top is very, you know, kind of fitting. It's like these shorts are really structured. You want something that looks a little more dainty so the outfit doesn't look as hard or like as kind of like tough. Um, so I decided to put on these little slides and yet, you know, because they have a little glitz and glam, they're bringing it together in a really fun way. Other things that I feel like I deal with in the summer, especially because I work out a lot, is as somebody with a pixie cut, my hair is not staying done. Okay, it's just, it's not staying done. But because I have a pixie, I can't just run and go get myself some braids or that kind of protective style. So what really comes into play for me here are like scarves like this or baseball caps. And that really helps me able to like style my outfit, still keep it cute without my hair bringing me down. So here's the look, a simple asymmetrical top, a lovely structured short, a sort of dainty kind of flat, 
a scarf to keep the hair laid, and a cute little dainty earring. You know, just a few bits and bobbles, nothing too dramatic, but it brings a look together so that you're able to go from day to night, from day party to alfresco dining perfectly. Okay, Heidi's, we're now onto our next look. Now, I am of the belief that everybody needs an outfit that's one and done. I have a romper, a jumper, jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it for every single season. Long sleeve, wide leg, all of the things. Because I feel like having and owning a romper makes it so that you can throw on an outfit, get dressed, and go. So this piece right here is a linen short romper from Cost, which I love Cost. If you haven't shopped them, think of them as more like an elevated H&M, um, something that's going to be like stylish, but very simple, sophisticated pieces that really can work well in any type of closet this because it's breathable and airy and like I said I don't want to be hot okay something <laughs> and go right so this is perfect because I have styled this to go to like dinner I styled this to go to baby showers it is like the piece of my closet that continues to give when you're somebody like me who also only usually opts for very neutral colored clothing Wearing black in the summer sometimes is kind of like, dang, you're just going to wear black. But I think that you can get away with it more and get by with it more depending on the fabric. Remember, texture and fabric is everything when it comes to getting dressed. That's how you like translate pieces and you transition seasons. So this piece right here is a linen like jumpsuit. It's got a V-neck. It comes with like a belt so it cinches around the waist so you don't just feel kind of like a blob. I think sometimes when you put on a jumpsuit or a romper, you lose a little bit of shape. And so that's why I usually try to like add a belt, you know, get something with the belt, pull it really tightly. Also, you can get it tailored in and nipped and tucked on the side so that it can give you some of that shape that you lose if you had on like a separate shirt and a skirt or a shirt and a pant. I've just styled this very casually with this baseball cap that I love. California is obviously for lovers. <laughs> this is a cute little hat, also like breathable. I took this with me to Palm Springs and didn't feel like I was sweating underneath my baseball hat, which sometimes, you know, that tends to happen when you're wearing hats or you're wearing scarves. This one worked perfectly. Again, simple jewelry, just like a little diamond slap bracelet or, you know, like tennis bracelet watch and then i just put this on with like my little gucci um dad like birkenstocks very simple very easy you know with just like a touch of luxury so you don't feel like you're losing that when you're trying to be casual and comfortable sometimes i know that when we put on like very casual simple outfits we feel like dang now it's not cute anymore like i just look a little dry but remember accessories can bring life to any outfit so i'm not pulling bags to show you guys exactly you know which bag i would carry with this but just know like you could throw on a belt bag to also accentuate your waist to bring some shape to it i'm good for grabbing like a toe or you know something easy but i just want you to see simply like how you can wear just sandals and one you know piece and still look put together, still look classy, still look like, okay, girl, I see you with a little fashion, which is something I think is hard to do in the summer because I feel like summer style and summer fashion is really just like less is more. And when you are somebody like me, who is a maximalist, like I want all the things, <laughs> that's hard for me to do in the summertime. But an outfit like this, I feel still gives me that without being overbearing and without making it so that I'm like, sweltering in my clubs okay y'all for my next look this is what we all know who grew up watching sex in the city is known as the naked dress i think that every person needs their iteration of a naked dress now this version for me is just from zara it is something like that's jersey but the material is so tight that it pulls you in so you're not super like self-conscious about needing to wear shapewear which we all know in the summertime can be like your own personal hell, okay? <laughs> like, can you imagine? If you're just trying to walk outside in your little space, you'd be sweating, your thighs is rubbing together. It's a lot. But this is the perfect version of like, you know, being able to go outside and feel sexy while still, you know, being covered up relatively, but it's form-fitting to the body. So it just makes you feel good. I love like finding a dress like that. And I really bought one maybe like six or seven years ago from Zara that I still have. And this is like the updated version of that. And I mean, I just feel so great in this dress. Like 
you could put on, you know, shaping thongs if you want to. I just have on like regular undergarments right now, but this is just perfect for getting dressed to go on a date, for, you know, knowing you're going to be outside walking around. You know, you can even run your little errands and you just feel like you got a little pep in your step because you look cute. You know what I mean? I'm pairing this with kind of like a low um, sort of naked version of a shoe, which is just a sandal that's kind of strappy. You know, there's a lot of version of these shoes right now with your little like toe ring kind of thing. This version that I have, I'm gonna tell you right now, I would not recommend just because I worn it not even, you know, a lot of times, but the part where the toe ring is, is already separating from the material. So. I'm just gonna say this brand of the version that I have, I wouldn't suggest, but I'm gonna find another pair. And I bought these just because I was like, oh, I want a pair of those kind of sandals and I needed them quick. But because, you know, I, I literally, I feel like, ow, you know, it's giving like, bow, bow, bow. That, that's what I feel like. Kept it simple with jewelry again. One singular like bangle, this little click clack. And then this is my like newest scarf. You guys saw this from my Palm Springs haul as well. Something like this I would probably wear with like an oversized hobo bag or with, you know, this bag here that I recently got. You know, just some like sort of shoulder simple thing. I wouldn't want to add bulk to the outfit. So I wouldn't wear this with a huge tote bag or, you know, something like that because that takes away the point of us looking part down, you know, and just sort of like in our simplest form. This is something I also will wear for those days when I'm like makeup, no makeup look. Um, you know, you want to step into the whole idea of it's like a naked sort of outfit. And for summertime, since we know it's the naked people season, this is the perfect look. Okay. So this is my version of like the summer luncheon sort of outfit. I love these type of tank tops that like are giving you more of, you know, like a cut in on the shoulder. Again, they're like exposing your arms and stuff. This to me is such a, like a beautiful part of the body that is really forgotten about. When you see somebody with really cute shoulders, I mean, honestly, it gives. Like, I feel like in the summertime, you greasing things up. People gonna be like, you're cute. I like it. Okay. For me, this is an outfit that I will wear again to like a luncheon, whether it's like a ladies lunch or a day party, or, you know, just more of like an upscale, like afternoon, you know, out with my girls, out with my family, going to brunch, whatever, because it's still cool. And for somebody that doesn't always love to wear shorts, sometimes I think like the length of shorts is where we have the issue. Now to each their own. But I do not always feel like I'm at the age still where I want to wear like some coochie cutters, you know, booty shorts, daisy dukes, whatever you want to call them. I just don't want my whole ass hanging out. Like, I'm not there anymore. I don't want to do it, right? But then I also don't want the shorts to be all the way down to my kneecap and then I look crazy. I'm already short. So I don't want to wear things that are going to make me look even more compact. It's weird, but if you... <laughs> But if you wear like something that's going to be cut just above the knee, you're actually adding length to your body. And so you don't look as like closed off and, you know, shut down. So I kind of love this pair of shorts because they look very tailored and well put together, but they're still super summery. And again, that's largely because of the fabric. So you don't feel like, girl, why you got them long shorts? You know what I mean? It just kind of goes with what you're doing and, it, and the way that things look. Having this more exposed shoulder tank top makes it okay for you to wear like a little bit of a longer short because you're still showing enough of your body that you don't look closed in. So I got this shirt. This is Massimo Dutti, which you know is like the elevated version of Zara. You can really find their stuff also on the Zara site. There's usually a tab that will lead you to there. So that's where I got this shirt and I believe these shorts as well. And so, you know, it's just something like a little more classic, but a bit more elevated. These sandals are Jeffrey Campbell. I think everybody needs, you know, sort of a super stylized like flip flop. Flip flops we know can go from like two dollar Old Navy to you know nine hundred dollar like Louis Vuitton or whatever you want to buy. I think that this is a really ha good happy medium with Jeffrey Campbell. Um, I love that it has like the look of this hardware. It's not actual metal, so it's not really feeling too heavy on my foot. But you know, it's cute enough that it gives like the look, some style, and a little bit more polish. I think sometimes a lot of looks in the summer are lacking polish. People just look thrown together. And again, I think it's because they're hot. 
We're gonna bring your style into the summer. Think about fabrics that breathe. Think about wearing items that are gonna like leave enough of your body exposed that you can feel cool, but you also don't look like you walked out the house and everybody's like, girl, what happened to you on the way here? Okay, so this is one of my this is one of my looks for that. Again, I will pair this with like probably a light bag. This is an outfit that you actually could pair with like a tote if you wanted to. Um, you know, maybe some sort of like little top handle bag. That's probably what I would wear with this, especially because of the look of the outfit. If I'm going somewhere to have lunch or to a really nice restaurant, you know, a rooftop, something cute like that. You don't want to have some big oversized, you know, ludicrously capacious bag. That's for the succession people, um, you know, that's like taking over your outfit. So again, cute look, dainty fabrics, dainty bag, polished. You look great. Okay, Heidi, so for our next look, this is a two-piece set that is gorgeous. One, it is the lightest, most comfortable, most breathable material. And we all know that summer is about cookouts, barbecues, you know, being outside all day at parties. And you never want to feel like, oh my God, I have on this outfit. I'm uncomfortable. I've been eating barbecue, you know, hot dogs, glizzies, burgers, pasta salad. You need something that's going to give a little bit. And so that's why I love this look. Now, this is just like, you know, again, stretchy, elastic band that I got from Zara it's a halter top but the halter doesn't feel like it's like choking me sometimes with halters you know they can be like too tight or they're just unsupportive and then you have nothing I love that this is also lined on the top so like if you're somebody that can go braless you're not necessarily gonna be showing everything I'm not one of those girls but you know this works well the one thing I would say about this outfit well the back is a little challenging to kind of like get together I'll likely have to cut the tag out and just make sure that I you know have someone help me to do the back but otherwise I just love the feel of the look like it's comfortable it's casual but you still don't look like you know quote unquote like sloppy or just not put together and sometimes I feel like I have that issue in the summertime with summer clothes I just feel like I don't have the you know sort of pull together and polish that I love to have in all of my outfits but this makes sure that I'm not encountering that but I'm still able to like, you know, go to the function, sit outside, dance a little bit, you know, just kick it and hang out without feeling confined in my clothes. Now, you can wear this with or without a hat. I decided just to put in two like different types of greens. This is a hat that I got from a haberdashery in New York. Designer's name is Rodney. His brand is Essential. And so he does these customized, very like beautiful large hats. You've probably likely seen them on June Ambrose or even my fellow Bison Tiffany from The Workplace. She wears a lot of his hats. Just, you know, you find little pieces that add a little pizzazz to your closet without necessarily looking like everybody else. So this is something that I pull out in the summertime because it is rattan, wicker, and that sort of fabric. So it's a summer hat. But I just love that it gives, you know, the look a little something. These are a pair of Acme Studio sandals that I got years ago. It's like the summer version of, you know, a cute sweatsuit. And so you want that still in the summer without obviously the sweat part because then you want to be hot. But this perfect, breathable, great color, you know, a good cream that don't get no ketchup on yourself. But I trust you. I believe in you. And that's how you stay hot in the summertime. Okay, y'all. So this outfit may feel like a little whoa. But for me, this is something that like, I don't know, I would wear if I was maybe going to a party, you know, like a late night summer sort of event because it gives a little pizzazz, but I'm also super duper comfortable. <laughs> like, you know, I think that sometimes when you're in the summertime, you just really want to be chill. And again, chill can go to looking bummy so fast that you have to add little pieces so that you don't go to that level. This is just like an oversized pair of sweatpants from Adidas. And I'm sure you guys have seen everybody wearing these now. These are the Firebird track pants and they're so comfy, but I love that they can go from season to season. This like leopard top, we all know leopard is a neutral. Like it's something that also can transition into fall where this print is super acceptable and super seen. You can be worn with a turtleneck or without or what have you. 
honestly i can undo the buttons and do one button at the top so i just think it's the perfect vest and the perfect little old like piece to add some like rah rah to your outfit you know and i'm wearing these with a very very simple pair of flip flops from javiana i like to get my javianas with the square toe because i wear my toenail square so i just feel like they go more with the shape of my foot i also have very narrow feet and so when i get my plain like little Haviana flip-flops I get them square and narrow and they're perfect for me the pants are such that they're like wide so you don't really see the shoe and so that's why I feel like you can wear something simple that's like comfortable and easy and it's gonna take you from here to there this honestly is an outfit like that I would put on any day <laughs> I mean it's so comfortable you know but it's like an outfit that speaks for itself if I'm wearing this people are gonna be like you look so cute and I don't know why because those are not things that you would automatically think to put together but sometimes it's the pairing of wrong items that really bring like a level of chicness to a look and sometimes people are afraid to be bold I don't look as if I'm like playing dress up or trying to be somebody else because I still have on things that I would wear regardless of the season and that's how you kind of make your wardrobe work for you no matter if it's winter spring summer or fall it's still neutral as far as like the brown and the leopard is concerned the green is something that I wear Season to season, it changes hue, but I'm still able to maintain that sense of style. Again, because I don't really want to worry about my hair, I put on this Jacquemus bucket hat, which I love. This is an outfit that I will pair with like maybe my Prada backpack or a bum bag, you know, a belt bag if I would. A crossbody It's so easy and so breezy, but still super chic put together and really, really fun. And I think summer obviously is about dressing fun. You know, but you still want to look like yourself. And I find that people tend to have an issue figuring out what to wear in different seasons because they're not sure how to show up as themselves, no matter what it looks like outside. This is one of those outfits that I feel like represents me and could no matter the season. Okay, Heidi's for our last look, we've got like a wide leg pair of denim, which y'all know are my favorite. I love balloon, I love wide leg, anything wide and cropped, I'm probably gonna buy it. Uh, but these are perfect for summer because obviously, again, they're easy and breezy, but if you are a denim person, you don't wanna wear like your hard, really tough, really thick denim in the summertime. It's just gonna make you uncomfortable. It's just gonna leave you sweaty. And so wearing like lightweight denim that resembles more of a trouser as opposed to like a tight, you know, body form fitting pant is really great and can still give you that denim look. I love the like true blue wash of denim. Anything that's in that spectrum of like true blue or super, super dark denim is usually my go-to. I don't mind a light pair of denim, but I don't know. I think it's really expected in the summertime but you can wear true blue and get that look and it doesn't necessarily have to feel out of season. To me, this is the perfect pair of pants for that. Again, it has a little shape, so it has this elastic waistband, plus it tightens at the top. These were the pair of Lueve pants that I got when we went to Palm Springs. Um, this is just a regular crop top that I got from Naked Wardrobe. I love Naked Wardrobe sort of cropped tops because they fit and they have like a lot of stretch while still kind of holding you in. Again, this is not like traditionally a color that I might lean toward, but because it is green, which is one of my neutral colors I go to, I'm like, it's summertime, I can brighten it up. And so that's why I decided to grab this top. You know, I love how it's like form fitting, but it doesn't necessarily feel tight underneath the armpits. I have like just enough like sliver of, you know, skin kind of showing. So it's great for summertime. Someone who is like a t-shirt and jeans kind of person, this is a great like summer iteration of jeans and a t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like a wide leg trouser, a crop top, you know, back to like throwing on a little scarf and you really already feel put together. I paired this with just a pair of like Chloe slides, something that, you know, has a little like style to it, but it's still very chic and very comfortable without just being like a kind of sad looking flip flop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything to me about summer is about elevating, especially because it's a time where you're not really gonna have on a lot of pieces. So the pieces that you are wearing to me, they need to pop. And that's why I decided to wear these Chloe shoes because they have like the gold stitching, you know, and you can see the Chloe really stand out. That's something to me that's gonna make the outfit look a little more like jazzy like it would during the fall or the winter when you have on a cute boot or like, you know, a good platform or something like that. If you were one of the people that bought like an Alaya player of the mesh ballet flats or even any other brand of mesh ballet flats, that will go perfect with this too because it's still giving you that sort of like airy feeling to your summer look. 
honestly this is like a very easy one and done something that i would run you know errands in go pick up the girls from you know camp something like that you know what i mean it's just a great everyday outfit that denim trousers are a must-have in everyone's closet get yourself a little crop tee you know what i mean it it really works well and so this is one of my favorite favorite looks in any season but especially during the summertime all right, hotties, that's all I have for you. So if you love this video and all of my tips and tricks on how to keep your style maintained throughout the summer, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. But not only that, drop me a comment, leave me a big thumbs up, and share this video so that we can get more hotties into the community. You guys know I love showing up here every week and being able to share with you honestly just fills my heart with joy. And so if you want to see more people over here and make sure that I keep making these videos, do those little things for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you as always for being here and until next week, I'll see you then. Bye.